Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video we're going to be using some more of the Switch Axe. Specifically my exhaust Switch Axe build with Blood Awakening, Mail of Hellfire, and Build Up Boost of course. It's a pretty solid template, the augments are a little bit annoying to get because the primordial pieces are kind of bad to augment to. And we got a Rapid Morph 3 with a 2 slot equivalent, and 2 ones, and the Build Up Boost is a nice extra. And I think for today's video I'm finally going to get Sir Egios to Special Investigation level. While the game is loading, please consider subscribing, over 76% of you are not. Alrighty, let's go, that was a very, very quick loading screen, but we'll see how we do. Now generally with Sir Egios, I find it's a very, very momentum heavy fight, so you either do really, really well, or he's going to beat you in two minutes like you would usually beat him in two minutes. Because while he is still an anomaly monster, he is very, very squishy. Let's smack him over here to try and get the counter. How am I missing that? That's crazy to me. Uh, nice. We got full charge off that. Probably going to go into a blind here as well, just to try and keep him grounded. As I said, it's momentum. So the better start I can get, the better off we'll be. Um, and generally speaking, you want to go towards his face and his legs as they take the most damage. At least with a slashing weapon. He got staggered away from me, unfortunately, but that's okay. I think he's out of the blind now, so we might go for another cheeky blind. Dodge that. Put the weapon away and we'll go for a blind. Yet again. Again, we literally just want to keep him still for a bit. Um, and the exhaust should work wonders with him, because he is a very speedy boy. Um, when he gets moving, of course, and the bleeds and whatnot. I might actually save the rest of the blinds for when he starts moving. Why step that? Oh, it didn't work. I hate that the, uh, like, iframes and stuff don't technically counter attacks. It's more so that... Thanks for trampling me. Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> It's been, what, two minutes? Even though we... I swapped to the bug and it didn't. Oh, it's going to be a good day, apparently. <laughs> Jeez. I was one hit away from breaking him and that happens. Oh, boy. But yeah, he's definitely a momentum fight. You're already seeing that if you haven't dealt with Seregios much. There we go. Get that knockdown as well. We can't heal from his face yet, I don't think, because it's not broken quite yet, as we just started. But we'll try. Um, we want to save our other blinds for when we get bled and whatnot. It'll give us an extra bit of time to actually heal it up. Dodge that. Okay. I do want to go for some counters, but he's uh, in his slow mode, so it's unlikely that he'll hit me too often. At least that's the plan. Because uh, when he gets angry and is fully ready to go, he's quite dangerous, to say the least. As you saw, he... Almost carded me in like half a minute there. I think it was like 20 seconds of him attacking and we almost carded from it. But we've broken a couple parts which is fantastic for this build as we get our extra damage rolling from Blood Awakening. It's very, very juicy. The longer we can keep him locked down, the better. As you're seeing, it's very good. Okay, now he's angry. Now we need to start paying attention probably. Uh, let's counter off this. There we go. We hit some of it at least, and he didn't trample me with the next part. I take that. Back morph to get a little bit better positioning. Dodge the tail. Back under him. We staggered, so we do one more combo into a counter. Maybe. There we go. Get that damage in. We staggered him as well. Excellent. Should be safe under him. Dodge into him. Nice. There's a knockdown. Go for the face. Do big damage. As I said, it's a much better hit zone than the rest of him, essentially. Even though all of his hit zones are pretty good, because, as I said, he is a squishy boy. But, this is kind of how you're supposed to deal with him, in my opinion. Could use traps and stuff as well, but hopefully we don't need to. Um, we'll find out, obviously. If I break him sooner rather than later, we'll see very, very quickly. Uh, I probably... Okay, I was going to say I probably shouldn't have done that extra attack, but I wanted to see how that would turn out. Some more smacks. Very good. Ibuki's getting the fleet foot done. That hit me, unfortunately. That headbutt is a little difficult to dodge. A little bit. It's very tired. I do want to sidestep to his face. Oh, there's the knockdown. I'll take that. I think that was an exhaust knockdown. Which may be specific to this lad. I don't know 100%. 
I think he gets knocked down when he gets exhausted. But I uh, could be wrong, obviously. Don't know everything. There we go. Get that smack in as well. That's going to hit me. Yep. He's tired, so he falls down. Smack him some more. Get a couple more hits in. Easy stuff. Okay, he's angry again. This is danger mode. One more hit into a counter. There we go. We missed. Unfortunate. Why step out of there? So we're in axe mode. Nice and mobile. Should do a headbutt. Yep. Okay, he takes a bit there. We'll hit into a counter. If he goes after me. He did not. He went after the dog. Which was really close to me, unfortunately. But that's okay. We got a stagger from the part break counter. There we go, get that damage in. Knocked him down as well with the damage. We take that. Get out of there. The slide. He'll headbutt. There we go, get that damage in as well. Couple more swings. He headbutt me again. Unfortunate. Why step out of there? Because he's going to be mobile. There we go. He'll headbutt. Watch the... Oh no, he didn't. Did the slam instead. That's okay. He doesn't do anything out of that one because that was a big slide. Just do this. Get under him. Morph. Smack again. And again. Wait for him to throw stuff. Ah, I rolled into it! Yep, this is why we saved the extra blinds. We should heal up quite a bit because we got Blood Awakening. Unless he tail sweeps, that would be rather unfortunate for me. Because it will deal quite a bit of damage to me with the bleeding as well. Okay. It's about to anomaly break. Oh, it missed. Nice. I am down to blue, which is unfortunate. Second one. He doesn't headbutt because he did two. Okay, we counter off this. There we go. Get that counter. The orbs didn't hit me as well. Fantastic. Well, that was fun. As I said, he's a very, very momentum-heavy fight. He almost ruined us in 20 seconds, and we got him down in 6 minutes. Because that's how he works. <laughs> At least that's how I've been going about fighting him. Well, everybody, that was some more exhaust switch axe with my Blood Awakening exhaust build. I always feel a little bit bad for Seregios because every time you kind of have a good run against him, it doesn't feel like he actually got to do anything. But as I mentioned in the hunt at the start and at the end, he's a pretty heavy momentum based fight as you saw he almost carded me in like 20 seconds at the start and then I just completely 180'd it after that but yeah I'm glad I got his special investigation unlocked as always thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one